time on Black Widow Garage. Old Johnny B was working hard to finish the van build. It's good. Of course, you know what long for old Bubba he had to show up. Just to check things out. He was raring to drive that old 383 stroker. Just see how many ponies really was underneath that hood. Y'all can see old Bubba, he backed that old kick turd out there on the highway to a big old burnout. But they decided to back off and have one bad tire, didn't want to blow it and tear things up. It's mean, boys. So let's see it's what they mean. got going on today. Well guys, y'all missed yesterday's video. She's running and driving. Gotta do a few things to it. Brakes don't want to hold her. Then I figured out, well, wait a minute. We need, we got the vacuum line plugged off. So we're going to hook the vacuum line up today. Do a few other things. But uh, I want to do some talking about this whole thing. And well, I just want to do some talking about it. Then we're going to get to do some work on it. So. Let's sit down for a minute. All right, guys. I first got this thing. I got it to strip. I was going to pull the interior out, put in Clifford. We did wind up pulling the two back seats out, put in Clifford. So it still has the bed in it and the front seats. And I was going to pull the bed out and some more interior parts. But I find these old vans cool because nobody does them. And when I decided to put the stroker motor in this one, everybody wanted to say, why? Why? What are you doing? You're crazy. Well, I may be. But it's the cool factor. Who else is doing it? I like to be different. Different is good. You know, just the way it is. Now, we still got a lot of little things to do to button this thing up, get it done. Is it going to be fast? Yeah. Is it going to be the fastest street racer or street car out there? No. But it's going to be quick for a van. And it's going to be a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun to drive. It wasn't a lot of fun to do. And I'm still running into problems getting it finished up. But at least I can move it around right now. But. Everybody wants to know why, why, why. Why not? It's cool. Can't see the cool factor in building an old 80s model van? There's something wrong with you. This van has spent its whole life right here in my hometown. So, you know, I wanted to strip it, was going to strip it, then I decided not to strip it. And I'm glad I didn't. It's going to be a lot of fun to drive. But, it came at a price. Lots of tired nights, lots of tired days. We finally got it there. I don't know. Got to get some tires put on it, all that good stuff. But we're going to button up what we can today and uh, get everything done to it we can today and attempt, attempt to make one good hit with it today, at least to plan today so with that said y'all go out and build something build something cool you don't got to be like everybody else i like it it's all steel that's a little bit of fiberglass here but uh it's not like them boys on street outlaws and this is a street machine real street machine 
So let's get to work on it. First thing we're gonna do guys, we still got some stuff underneath to do. Y'all done heard it, loud, open headers. Well now we're gonna hook the stock exhaust all the way up, make it quiet. Like I said, it's a, it's a sleeper. And I will probably put some cutouts in it later. And uh, got some other stuff underneath to do. Look, transmission mount, wanna make it good and tight. Right now it's not all the way tightened up, but we had to loosen it up, get the motor in and stuff. But once we get all that done, then I can climb back out. Got some stuff up here to do. We still got to get a top radiator hose on it. Uh, I'm going to change the clamps on the bottom radiator hose. I don't like those. So we're going to change them out. And we'll probably get this tire and wheel off today. Right here. That's the bad one. Yeah. I guess on the bottom. Well, you can see part of it there. And get the spare on if it's good. We gotta figure out some way to get this lock off. I may have to go buy a grinding wheel and just cut it off. Oh, and we're gonna clean her out today. Vacuum it up, get everything out of it. Make it a little more presentable. Get it to where we can drive it on the road. That's the plan. So let's just dive into it. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this transmission mount down. Remember, righty tidy left Lucy. Son of a mother, I shouldn't have brought that ratchet. Get that swivel head. Should have brought a different one under here, but it's fine. Y'all set up here where y'all can seize. Seize. I see you on my chest. How about that? How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. So hard to find a place to sit, y'all. Son of a mother. Now let's get to work on it. I like to put a little extra tight on these. That's good. By anybody's calculations. Yes, yes, yes. Almost like I'm gonna put a wall over here. We need to do a little cleaning under here. Looks like it went through a hay field. Get some brake clean, clean all that oil stuff off from no 305 that was in here. You know when you're doing a project like this, and you're doing it on a budget because you're broke, you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. And we don't have a lot of money in this thing. You know, you tend to find the best deals you can, and I just want to share one of them with y'all. The fuel cell we put in this thing. Right now, the doors ain't shut because we've got the door line run out. We still got to do a hole in the floor. Go through there and hook up on the fuel line. All that good stuff. But I want to show y'all my fuel cell. It's only like two gallons, so it ain't gonna get as far, but uh, it was cheap and it's nice. And actually, I already had it laying around. Yep, 
That's it. Right there. Good line running down there. And I believe that's racetrack ready and those are approved. Do believe. Oh, and the $2 bungee cord. Holding it in there. Now you stay there, girl. Don't move. But that's the fuel cell. We got the transmission mount good and tight now. Now we're gonna move on to the brake system. Look up that brake booster and all that good stuff. And uh we're gonna do that from the inside. But first, I gotta cut a piece of pipe going between the hoses because the, the two shorts are each other. So let's get to that. Well, I found an easy fix. I had this T just laying around out there and got a boat in it. Seal that end off, so we're just gonna tee these two hoses together and let this just bump, you know, whatever. But a guy wants to show y'all something. Because I think y'all might be interested in this. Y'all should be following my Instagram. That way you get to see stuff like this that's in this video before the video even gets uploaded. <laughs> You get to see the content before you get to see the content on YouTube. If you just go follow my Instagram, which y'all should be doing. So, with that said, let's get rid of that. Throw it to the side. Let's hook this up. All you want to do is take this here and Stick one in in this hole. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, good tight fit. Take the other end and stick it in this. Well, looky there. Just that easy and now we got a brake booster. Hmm. That was simple enough. Well, guys, if you made it this far in the video, you're the real OGs of the channel. So, with that being said, I'm going to do everything else off camera. I'm going to go ahead and drop the jack down, back this old tick turd out, and do a little, little, you know, y'all deserve it. Y'all be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Let's get this thing out there on the pavement and uh, do it a little test hit and see what she does. Not gonna be a big one because we don't want all the police down here. Just a few of them. So, let's get to it. Y'all deserve it if you watch this long. And for whatever reason, don't try what I'm about to do at home. I'm not doing it for fun or anything else. I'm just doing it to only one way to check the brake system, you know. One way I know. And that's just to get it out there and hold the brake and uh, throw it to the floor all the way. And then back up and throw it to the floor and hopefully I got enough room to stop within a hundred foot before I go through the back of the shop. I don't know. We'll see. Wish me luck.
All right, y'all. That was just a little hit for y'all. I mean, I didn't get on it hard at all. Because the brakes... Just get on a little bit, and the brakes wasn't holding it. So, I didn't even get on it hard. I would have done a lot more, but I only got like 60 foot between me and the shop and the highway, so... I didn't want to chance it. The brakes not working, and I fly through the shop. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Have some more on this thing tomorrow, probably. And, uh, that's... Like I said, I just barely even hit the gas. I know it sounded loud and everything. That's because we're running open headers. But that's not bad just straight off the motor stand, guys. We ain't tuned it to nothing yet. I guarantee you, if I didn't even just hold the brakes, if I just romped on it, it would have roasted the back tires off. No problem at all. I mean, you can feel the power in there. So, uh, go hit that like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Got to get this thing back in the shop and finish up on it. And if anybody wants one of them little custom fuel cells, you know, I would sell you one for a hundred bucks and you go to Walmart, buy one for five. It's up to you. See y'all later, guys.